What is up, you two? Welcome to the sea. Welcome to the beat. Welcome to TMP Showtime. What is up, you two? Welcome to the T. Welcome to the P. Welcome to TMP Showtime. What? What is up, you two? Welcome to the T. Welcome to the P. Welcome to TMP Showtime. This is some few, some few bloopers for you there. Whatever, yeah. Bruh, breaking news. LeBron James's house was broken into in LA. This is crazy. I'm the diehard fan of. I'm a diehard LeBron fan, right? Like this makes me so mad. Like, oh, who would do this? And it was vandalized with the N-word. Like, who does that to LeBron? He's the GOAT. But let's just get into this reaction video. It's from the fumble. Go subscribe, whatever. Subscribe down below with my channel. Whatever, man. <coughs> whatever, man. <coughs> whatever, man. <coughs> whatever, man. <coughs> Los Angeles home gets banned. That's even vandalizing is too far, but let's see what they have to say. We have some breaking news for you guys today. Yeah, Early subscribe. Wednesday morning, the police were called to LeBron James' Los Angeles home when a neighborhood patrol responded to the call that they received. There was graffiti written on the outer gate of the home. LeBron James purchased Yo, the home back in 2015 for a little less than twenty-one thousand dollars. It's an East Coast-style mansion Anybody, with six bedrooms do that. and Just seven bathrooms, but it is not the main home for LeBron James. It was actually not in the home when this happened. The home is located in the Brentwood neighborhood, which is an upper-class neighborhood located in the West Los Angeles area. It's currently not known if the perpetrator knew it actually was LeBron's home or not, but the graffiti that was written on the wall is made inward. Just, we don't, don't have any it. photos of the graffiti, but it has since been removed from the gate. Do you guys think the vandalizers knew it was LeBron's home? Let us know what you yes, think. Yes, of course they knew! Below. It seems all too much of a coincidence to me. The Cavs tip off against the Warriors in Oakland Thursday for game one of the NBA Finals. Exactly. You guys LA think is, it could be possible it's obviously that like a Warriors fan. upset Warriors fans? The security what footage is currently being reviewed by the police, so hopefully soon we get some new leads and make an arrest in the connection with is the racist fan? vandalism. Oh. For updates on all your favorite athletes, make sure you can subscribe and we'll see you next time. That makes me mad, actually. As you saw, like, that made me bad, to be honest with you. Because, like, you don't do that to somebody's house. Like, even if it's my neighbor's house, like, I would have been mad. You don't do that to somebody's house. And especially, write the N-word. Like, racial, any racial slurs. Like, people these days are too quick to go to racial slurs and stuff like that. They judge people too much, whatever. Like, honestly, we should just stop hating. Not even trying to sound cheesy, but, like, don't hate people. Like, you show love to everybody. It doesn't make any sense, but like, yo, know, now I'm mad because bro, it was probably a Warriors fan. Let's be honest here, probably a Warriors fan trying to get LeBron's head, whatever. But as you know, when LeBron goes into playoffs, he doesn't even check his social media, so or have his phone. So he, I don't even know. He probably knows by now, but he probably didn't know till like everybody told him or whatever. So like, yo, know, this is that's. That makes me mad, actually, though, to be honest with you. But, yeah, subscribe right there, 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 wherever it's going to be. Click on my last video, whatever. Have a great day. See you later on Team Shutter.